gosh, look at all this fabric. And in her haberdashery, buttons, thread, sewing machines even. Look, what a delightful shop. And I just saw the mouse man costume right there. It'd be amazed if anyone can find anything they need in here. It's all a bit of a jumble, isn't it? Look at our falling shower scan. I think we just threw a stone on the glass in your glass house. Very funny. The old lady over there seems to be the shopkeeper. Shall I ask her if she knows anything useful in this? Yes, let's see. I can ask her if she doesn't mind doesn't mind us looking around the shop too. Yeah, no, the, I already seen the Red Man costume here, but I'm first. Lights? Yes, the lights are going to disappoint me this time. Oh, a puzzle. Cutting cloth is a real art, I think. Trying to make the best use of an available fabric without wasting any. I'll say, you really need to think it through, just like this puzzle. Shoe Shuffle 2 The shoes by the front door are in, the com in a complete mess. Tidy them all up so that they are in the correct pairs. Move the double and arrow between them, blah blah blah. Nate shuffles in total. And no, I didn't get the, ring, the, the, the name wrong this time. Okay. Mm. Wait. Wait. Did I get something wrong? Mm -hmm. A few moments later. Ah, okay, I just saw this one here. Ah, okay, 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 okay. okay. I... I ended up mixing these two up with the... Oh. Okay, let's try that again. I'll cut so you guys don't have to go through this again, but yeah, I think I figured out. Let's go. Three weeks later. Aha, I got it. This is an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. You did it. She won't believe the mess this place was in just a few moments ago. Puzzle I can manage, but I think I'll leave the cloth cutting to the profession. You're so wise, miss, and so clever. No, I'd say that's just pretty much common sense. I do have to say, I love the amount of details each scene of each of these scenes seem to have. Everywhere you look, there's always something there. Even places like this that look messy, you can always, if you look close, you can always try to find something new. Well, let's see what you have to say, miss. Excuse me, could you ask you a few questions, please? Miss Slow the Tail. Also, I think it's supposed to be a pawn or something, but I'm not aware. Do you think she's a bit deaf? Excuse me! Sheesh. I'm tired. I'm trying to work out how to cut the right shape of fabric for this blank space. It's very complicated. Cut your cloth. This 5 meter square piece of fabric needs to be cut from a sewing project. For a sewing project, sorry. One 3 meter square piece and four 1 meter square pieces need to be cut from it. When mark it in the mar mark out the cut lines on the fabric, what is the minimum number of straight lines that needs to be drawn? Wait, what? Eventually. Oh, okay, 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 got it. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. 
I want to say it's four. Because... Let's have a lot of cards, but I think it's four. I've seen how to solve this now. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Yeah, it was. Yeah, like I thought, because she could cut it from the edge. This one here, I have... Yeah, uh, the one there with the... Where the little blue squares on the, the top right, I have no idea. But the, the one, the, the other one, the, the one on the left... Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought she would be the best way. Oh, thank you. Yes, I think that will be get out... Get me out of the woods, actually. Excellent. I'm very sorry to disturb you when you're obviously so busy, but I wonder if you could help us. Tell me why you're here and you'll see. Well, the thing is, we're investigating rat men. Rats? Oh, I know all too well where they're around. Nice too. This whole area is infested with them. No, not rats. Rat man! Hey, rat man? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Must be some newfangled thing I haven't heard of. Everything has changed these days. So glad we came in here. This isn't a waste of time at all. Hmm. Doesn't look like she's prepared to give us any more of her time. And you... Oh. What the... Thanks. But I know I can make sense that we will find fashion fardens in a cloth store. But yeah, look. Ah, so Cheryl's the one to point it out. Interesting. This is Ratman's costume, isn't it? Oh yes, no question. Ratman wears a suit just like that. Well, what's that doing in here? Well, uh, last time the shopkeeper. She may even be able to tell us who Ratman really is. Uh, excuse me again. I was wondering if we could ask you about this Ratman suit here. About this Ratman suit here! Yes, I heard you, dear. I've heard, I've heard you, in the, uh, you if you were on the other side of the door. You just sometimes, something I saw here for the costume, for a customer of mine. Customer of mine. Oh, who would that be? I don't think I should be discussing my customers or friends with complete strangers, do you? I don't want any bad blood around here. Oh, no, I suppose not. Spot on. Alright then, perhaps you could tell us how long you've been keeping it here for then. Would that be alright? I don't remember to be honest. Well, I suppose I almost do. About three months now, I'd say. The per person who left it with you hasn't come back to collect it? If he had, he wouldn't still be here, would it? I wish he would though, frankly. I struggle for space enough as it is. I don't want to stay, stay, I don't want to stay, stay, stay here forever. A ratman suit that was left here for three months ago. And the person who it belongs to hasn't been back now all the time. It fits in when Ratman went missing. I wonder what on earth happened to him. Oh no, I was wrong, it is a feat. Okay, so this is gonna finish with a hat. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, I really thought we might be able to discover Ratman's straight entry there. Yeah, the lady's pretty tight-lipped, isn't she? She's got one of those zips she sells on her, on her muzzle. I wonder if it wasn't actually the real Ratman who left the suit here, though. What are you eroding, what are you eroding to, Cat? Well, it's possible that someone who defeated Ratman could have disposed of it instead, isn't it? That's true, but that would mean... That would mean Redman did get into a big fight with his archer or something. And lost. You mean good didn't triumphant over evil? Oh no, that doesn't bear thinking about. If that's what happened, Pinstripe, that's what happened. I know, but do you really think that did, that is what happened, Miss Layton? Do you think Redman was defeated? It's too soon to, it's too soon to say, Ernest. That, jump, that, that is just one possible explanation. Yes. Yes, it might not be so. Well, I think for now we should go back and report to Mr. Lloyd. Sounds like a plan. 
So back to the long time's office then. Well, aren't I the lucky one? Did you say you're going to the office of the London Times? Oh yes, yes, that's right. In, this, in that case, could you give this box to Mr. Chance, please? That would be good for both of us. What is it? Just something you asked me for. I should have said no, but anyway, it's very important. Make sure it gets to him, please. Um, well, I... You did say you're going there anyway, didn't you? How would you refuse? You look like a lad with a perfectly good heart. Well, I suppose no skin off of our nose, isn't it? Dog's body for another woman, eh, pinstripes? I wonder what's inside the box. You'd think a material or something, wouldn't you? But it's, a, but it's a bit small for that. Well, whatever it is, it looks like you have to deliver it. So let's be on our way. Oh, I just can't... Yeah, I can just uh, press go by back. That makes it so much faster. I keep forgetting that. All right, the bike was in good hole for some reason. It's as crazy as ever in here. Ah, Douglas is back here too. Look, he certainly does crop up everywhere, doesn't he? Ah, I meet again. Eh? If you're looking for the chief ad, he's up in the high as usual. He shows up everywhere we go, this fellow. I'm starting to feel hounded. I don't see Mr. Chance anywhere, though. Oh, what should we do with this box from the lady at the shop then? She was very clear it was to be, to be given in person to Mr. Chance. Mr. Lloyd will probably know where he is. I was gonna ask him. Yeah, we're investigating here. Let's see. Ah, Catriel, there you are. Well, well, how's the investigation coming along? Before we fill in about that, Mr. Lloyd, we have a question. Yes, sir. While we were investigating, we met someone who asked us to give this packet to Mr. Chance. Ah, I see, and now you can find him. That's because he's in his office. I'll send someone for him. Doug, Doug, can you spare a minute? Yes, boss, something you can do for you? Sorry to disturb you, but could you go ahead and ask Mr. Chance to come in here? I most certainly could. If you'll just excuse me for a moment, I shall return momentarily. Right. Well, Caesar will be along in a minute, I'm sure. Thank you. So tell me, tell me, how is the investigation shaping up? Have you figured out why Ratman's gone missing? Unfortunately, we haven't reached any conclusions yet. However, it seems possible that Ratman may have been defeated by a rival. A rival? Who on earth would do that? We don't know yet, but it seems that there may have been forces working against them. Unbelievable! If what you say turns out to be true, it means evil has triumphed over good. Which again, okay, in comics, movies and the like, yeah, that never, rarely ever happens, but in real life, that does happen a lot. Please, Mr. Lloyd, it's too soon to say. Don't be disheartened. At the moment, there is nothing more than speculation. You're right. You're so right. There is no proof, no substance to the story, no, feel, no need to feel depressed. He's a real swinger, isn't he? I mean, mood swings, not... Hmm? There you go, Mr. Chance, he just says he's way down now. Ah oh, yes, thank you, Doug. Catrell, now you can give him the parcel. Oh, I have a puzzle for him, he's nice. A penny has to see me. What's all this about, then? Well, during the course of our investigation, a tale from Brown Hill asked us to deliver something to you. Yes, here I am, Mr. Chance. I see. Well, thank you. Oh, don't mention it. It was a snow skin of our nose. Actually, I'd like to ask you a favor, too. This has been handy stumped for a while now. I won't be able to get all, uh, got on with my work unless I can solve this blasted puzzle. That can kind of came out of nowhere, doesn't it? Password ABC Stu. Now that the pe now what was the password to the safe? It's six letters long, and uses the letter A, B, and C. Use the pointers on the memo to figure out the correct password and then open the safe. C cannot appear next to another. C or A B. The same letter is never used more than twice. The password is the same way forwards and backwards. Okay, so let's see. Many, many unbearable moments later. No. I'm confused about this part here. 
C or a B. Like... Because again, I know C is probably going to be the, on the edge. The attempt to, that's what it was in the well, last one. Oh wait, is this supposed to be a joke? Like, it's C, then A, then B? Is that what it's supposed to be? And then here is backwards because it needs to be cab back. Is that what it's supposed to be? If you'll entertain my idea here. It is okay. Miss Layton, of course. You did it. The light shines brightly and the safe opens. Now, where the contents were such a secure password? Yeah, because I because here's the thing. I thought it was weird because okay, C one must never be close to another. It reads back and forth. It's a what's the name? Parallelogram, ah, anagram or something like that. Where it's the same backward and forward. But then again, B and A could be anywhere. Then the clue: B, C, A, or B. I think that was a clue. That's supposed to be A, then B. Then you repeat it backwards. I know something felt off. Well, very impressive. I can see why Madame Dublin is always banging on about you. Um, thank you. I do pride myself on my puzzle solving abilities. I hope you don't mind my, my me inquiring, but what's the parcel? Do you really trust that? It's a parcel from a tailor. Do you think perhaps it might be clothing? The box just seems a little small for clothes, that's all. Is it really any concern of yours what's in my parcel? Hm. Fine, I'll tell you. I suppose it did bring it, bring it here for me after all. It's baby clothes. Despite appearances, that lady is actually a very skilled tailor. I frequently have her make clothes for me. Baby clothes? I don't know how to explain a small box. How old is your baby? Just three months now. But growing out of, out, out of outfits already. Oh, so that's why he gave up on being Ratman. Because he was having a baby. Oh, a baby? I do love babies. They're so cute. I see. Well, never mind my personal life. What about the Ratman investigation? Is it a time you gave up? All this superhero nonsense is starting to get very old. Of course, a baby. Keep up, woman. You're moving over that. Sorry, it's just that what you said before has made something fall into place. He wasn't fighting our enemy. He was waiting for his child to be born, and now he's been born. And now he doesn't want to be Ratman. Not that he doesn't want to be Ratman, but he doesn't want to actually risk being Ratman to, you know, make his child sad by losing a father or for not being there. Hmm. You know, it's amazing. You are 100% wrong. I mean, nothing you've said has been right. Made what fall into place? What are you talking about? Solving puzzles, Mr. Chance, is what I do best. Small packet. I turned apart from Mr. Zola Taylor from Bowen Hill asks, well, ah, it's in the clothes, but they seem to be very small. Okay, before I continue this, let's see if my headphone is charging enough for me to be able to, you know, listen to the rest without I having to worry about it getting on the mic. Hold on, guys. Ah! Why? No, stop! Oh my god, this is loud, this is loud, this is loud! Oh god. For some reason, my headphone really likes me and jerk to me. And every time I connect to it, it goes at 19, it goes at max volume the TV. I'm not sure why. Ugh. But at least now it's done and I can make this. Wait, just to be safe. Yeah, okay. It's coming from the headphone now, not from the TV. Uh, not so this case, shall we? Yes. That's the truth behind this case. You haven't solved it, cat? Of course I have. I'm ready to confine this mystery to history. I know now who Ratman really is and why he suddenly disappeared. It's time to reveal the secrets behind the paramount of justice. 
Come on, then, tell us. Tell us now. Where's Ratman gone? Why did he disappear? Ahem. The superhero of London town simply had to stand down. Really? You're gonna make that voice? Eh, whatever. Because he had a baby, maybe called Ratman Jr. Um. Yeah, that doesn't rhyme, Cat. What was that? I was trying to be all rat manny, but it's hard. <sighs> Isn't that right, Mr. Chance? Or should I say, Rat Man? Rats! You know, you could just deny it, but okay, whatever. He's Rat Man! Balloon head there! You found that good stories were dwindling and you wanted to create some news, didn't you? So you decided to use your wealth and connections to create a superhero. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes, you're quite right, Miss Layton. Why again? Why are you admitting to all this? You could have just said no. Well, who knew? With the arrival of Ratman, sales of your London publications shot up and the city was rid of crime to boot. A win-win situation. But then, three months ago, you hit a snag, and Ratman had to be pulled off the streets. Puppies, eh? Exactly. Ratman, or rather you, Mr. Chance, had a baby. A baby you just can't bear to put down, he's so cute. Okay, I get the stereotypes that babies are cute, but uh, we haven't seen this baby yet. As a result, superhero antics have had to take a back seat. Yes, yes, that's about the size of it. You wouldn't understand, but it's like I just want to gaze into my baby's eyes all day long. And when I do, I can't think about fighting crime. My superhero days are over. That man's finished. Everyone just needs to forget about him. Mr. Chance, or rather, Ratman. You're throwing in the towel, neglecting your city's needs. No, no, no. That won't do. No chance. Uh, Not on my watch. No, no, no. But, butter. No butter, no jam. No cream, no scones, no butts! Here's the answer. More rat men, that's what we need. Franchising! Hooray! Fantastic! <laughs> Gosh, there's rat man merchandise for sale all over the place. That came out of freaking nowhere, what the hell? And it's flying off the shelves as well. Who'd have thought the people of London would come to rely on rats? It seems the new leader of the pack, Rat Boy, is the one everyone wants. Oh, him. Make way, make way! Here comes Ratman to save the day. God damn, you can make your voice very deep. I'm impressed. And so on is the return of Ratman, and or rather Ratmans. Shouldn't it be a man with a knee? Because that's a plural. Yeah, but I think it's supposed to be men's. The Rat Pack, as it became known, brought peace and security to the streets of the city. With Ratman on the ground, you're safe walking around. I'm not 100% sure what has happened, but hey, happy ending, I suppose. 